Hey, over the time I've reviewed enough vacuum cleaners, the smart type obviously, to know what exactly I need for my household and give you a fair recommendation what are the most important features in a day-to-day -day use. And a couple of days ago I received an email from Yidi asking me to update my app and update the firmware because they've addressed one of my biggest complaints in my Yidi reviews. If you want to know more about Yedi VAC Station or Yedi VAC 2 Pro, then I'm going to link them in a corner of this video. But I'm just going to quickly recap what was my biggest complaint about the Yedi ecosystem. All of the Yedi vacuums were struggling to create very accurate maps of my area, whether it was because of awkward uh, station placement or just really complicated layout, I don't know, but obviously LiDAR based uh, vacuum cleaners didn't have this problem. All of this has changed on the latest firmware patch, so if you already own the vacuum cleaner, make sure you update the firmware and the app itself for better experience. To showcase the mapping improvement, take a look at this. This is a layout of my bottom floor generated with LiDAR equipped uh, vacuum cleaner. It's very accurate and this is basically one-to-one -one of how my layout downstairs looks like. You can compare this layout with the actual layout created by the uh, Yidi vacuum cleaners before the firmware update. I mean, it's very easy to notice that these are not the same and if you were trying to use a cleaning or spot cleaning or select areas, it would be rather difficult. And this is how the mapping looks like after the update and you have to say it's very close to what LiDAR can do right now. So. I'm very impressed and I appreciate them taking time to actually address this issue. And with that being completely fixed, I can give you now proper recommendation for EAD series. So if you were on the edge and you were thinking about one or buying a, a self-emptying vacuum station, then EAD isn't a bad choice at all. If you're watching this video on time, it's October and we leading into the Amazon Prime Day in which you can secure yourself a nice EAD vacuum cleaner at well, discounted price. But instead of just laying down the best offer for you, I've got a slightly different approach. I'm gonna give you an advice based on what I know about the ecosystem and what I know about cleaning different surfaces so you could steer your attention to the hoovers that match your needs rather than look at the pricing and select the cheapest one out there. Let's start with all carpet flooring. If that's you and your apartment or house is fully carpeted and you hardly have any hard floor, then you're looking for something that could well tackle various carpets and provide a decent cleaning experience for that surface type. In that case, you should look at YediVac Hybrid or YediVac Max with improvement suction power. YediVac Max comes with improved sucking power, so if you have carpets or rugs with long strands, then you're definitely going to benefit from that. And by selecting YediVac Hybrid, you might save yourself a penny and still be flexible enough to upgrade later to 2-in-1 or purchase YediVac uh, Station, which I'm going to mention in a second. But what if you already have a mixed floor? Which is the best vacuum cleaner from your ecosystem? Well, in this case, you should consider either YediVac uh, Max or YediVac 2 Pro. And there's a number of reasons why. First of all, that improved sucking power means that the carpet's going to be slightly cleaner when it comes to transition between the hard surfaces and the carpets, because this is where I found out that uh, a lot of dirt is being accumulated, and that's one way to get rid of that dirt. And with the Edivac 2 Pro, you get oscillating mop, which is brilliant at removing um, dust, grime, and stains from hard floors. Both vacuums are excellent cleaners and can be upgraded with Yidi Vac Station for self-emptying. Lastly, for everyone with hard floors, well, we have different challenges. Obviously, we want to keep them clean and we need something with strong mopping action. And this is where my recommendations are leaning towards either Yidi Vac 2 Pro with oscillating uh, brush or mop or brand new uh, option, which is Yidi Mop Station. For the Yedi Mop Station, you'll have to pay a little bit extra, but you will get a nice self-emptying station with a tank that's gonna not only refill your cleaner, but also clean the mop itself and dry out. Particularly useful if you have a large area to maintain in terms of hard flooring. 
if you want to save a bug, then Yedivac 2 Pro is going to be a better solution because it's less expensive, has an obstacle avoidance, which can be super handy, especially if you have a pets, because, you know, there are different surprises that you might find on that floor and you will appreciate your vacuum not running into it. And lastly, for everyone with pets or struggling to maintain the floor, I would strongly suggest to try a vac station or mop station. Now the biggest benefit of having a self-emptying or self-maintenance station like these uh, is that you're not going to have to change and empty your dustbin so often. That will in turn increase your sucking performance of your cleaner, which means on every pass you'll get a full sucking performance, not impeded by the level of dirt inside the dustbin. And it'll save you time because if your, I don't know, floors or carpets are full of her, etc. from pets or full of dirt because this area needs to be maintained more often, then you will most likely or not end up having cleaned that or emptied that dustbin almost all the time. Now I have a vac station downstairs and I'm super super happy about it because let's face it, it must have been like three or four months since I even opened it and I'm pretty sure it's not even half full. Previously I mentioned the Prime Day and you can save up to $240 on the smart vacuum cleaner of your choice from Yidi. So head to the description of this video, you'll find the links to Amazon page for Yidi and the written article with a little bit more details about which promotion is best for you. I am glad that Yidi has addressed the issue and fixed the mapping uh, accuracy for me and probably for other users. Now, I know for a fact that I'm not going to take advantage of this because I'm quite happy how Yeti performs without the map, without just micromanaging it. It's for me easier to run it on a schedule and leave it to clean it entire downstairs and actually mess about and try to clean separate rooms and it's just not for me, but it might be for you and it's only fair that the feature advertised it's there and it's working correctly. Alright, that's all I've got for this video, so if you want to know what next, use the YouTube tools provided to stay in touch, follow me on social media, etc, etc. I'm pretty sure I don't have to explain you all that. Thanks so much for watching, and see you in the next video. Take care, bye!